Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.38 by Sadiku Book. So, the question is, a circuit is described by di over dt plus 3i is equal to 2ut. Find it 40 is greater than or equal to 0. Given that i0 is equal to 0. So, when t is greater than 0, ut is equal to 1. So, we can rewrite the differential equation here as di di over dt and then plus 3i because the value of ut for t greater than 0 is 1 so 2 multiplied by 1 is just 2 right and I want to use separation of variables here I want all the i on the left hand side and I want the t all on the right hand side so we will have di over dt is equal to let's move this first to the right hand side so i'll have minus 3i and then plus 2 okay and i can move the entire right hand side as the denominator of the left hand side and let's move this dt to the right hand side so i'll have di divided by minus 3i plus 2 and that will equals to dt. Okay, now we can integrate both sides. So I want to rewrite this as like this. So I'll have 1 over minus 3i plus 2 di. So you can see it better. And then on the right hand side, I will have integral of dt. I think I will start from the easy part first. The right hand side is clearly a t plus some constant. And I want this constant as much constant between left hand side and right hand side. So I don't write the constant on the left hand side. And this one that will be learn minus, yeah, minus 3i plus 2. Minus 3i plus 2. However, because of the chain rule, we need to multiply this by minus 1 over 3. Right? Okay, I think that we are all good here. So, we can divide both sides by minus 1 over 3. So, we'll have learn minus 3i plus 2. And then 1 divided by minus 1 over 3, that will be minus 3. Yeah, I think minus 3. Minus 3t. And then plus c1. Okay, I want to write c1 divided by minus 1 over 3. It's just another constant, so I will rewrite that as c2. Okay, now we can text the exponent of both sides. So we'll have minus 3i plus 2 and then e to the minus 3t plus c2 but again we can rewrite all the left the right hand side here as e to the c2 and then multiplied by e to the minus 3t okay e to the c2 is just a constant so let's define another constant let's name that as c3 so we'll have minus 3i plus 2 is equal to c3 e to the minus 3t. Okay, now let's move it again. So I'll have minus 3i uh, is equals to, I think this will be minus 2 and then plus uh, c3. Yeah, c3, I think c3 e to the minus 3t okay i think it's better write it like like this so we'll have c3 e to the okay now let's divide both sides by minus 3 so i will have i is equal to 2 over 3 and then let's define yet another constant. So I will have C4, right? Because C3 divided by minus 3 is just another constant. So I will have C4. 
e to the minus 3t. Okay, and because this i is depends on t, so I can write it as a function. So i t, I think. And we are given that i0 is equal to 0. Okay, no. Let's plug that in. So on the left hand side, we will have 2 third plus c4 e to the 0, right? And that will equal to 0. <coughs> okay. And therefore, c4 is equal to minus 2 third. Okay, so we can plug that c4 into this one. So it is equal to 2 third minus 2 third e to the minus t, 3 t. And I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.